What bro? Uh, I'm very excited with this one. So how about you? How do you feel? Yeah, definitely. I'm super excited. So good evening. Magandang gabi. Uh, League of Ancients PH community and to all other viewers around the world. So loaders yeah so this is it so we will be doing it so i'm really excited yeah yeah so actually, bro bro have you ever have you invited your ldx community here yes bro actually uh uh i'm seeing okay uh some of our ldx esports community our armies again so please please oh uh, so wait wait so uh, I'll make a change to so our chat is actually disabled in our YouTube yeah, let, yeah. let's turn it on yeah uh, wait so, yeah right now I'm seeing 23 23 uh, viewers so guys let's invite more like let's invite your relatives your friends your dogs your cats like yeah. what Joseph is always saying <laughs> So let, let's have fun tonight. So we will be having a lot of opportunities in this AMA session. But most especially in this uh, session, we will be answering a lot of questions, a lot of um, clarification from the community. And I even have my questions for this session. So I'm excited, bro. Uh, bro, wait so I can see the... So is it still turned off? Yeah, it is still turned off. Okay, hey guys, uh, sorry for this one. So let me make some changes. Guys, yeah, so so while doing all of these changes, please help us. So spread the link. Yeah. Spread the live stream so that uh, we can get more people here. As you can recall, uh, we've been uh, preparing a lot of giveaways but it depends how many people will be watching us today so how about bro in our official facebook page do you have an access that one yeah i let, let, let me look at it actually for this one yeah i'm not seeing any uh live here live session but we can focus here in, in the youtube so New they, they can just spread it I think um, I think we don't have access to the comment section. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so right seeing, now we have seven. Bro, I, I, I'm yeah. I'm seeing that they can type in. Yeah. Now yeah. Yes. So I let me share the. Yeah. Let me share the attendance link for yes. everyone. So what are you waiting for, you guys? So please, please, please register. So we will be identifying the top 100 early birds and we will be selecting the top, like, like 10 of them who will get the alpha access. So we still have like nine minutes. Guys. Nine minutes to go, sorry guys. So the, Sorry for the delay. Yeah. So please, uh, loaders, and our new creation and uh, LDX Esports okay, community, please do share. Okay, so we need to have at least 2,000 viewers. Okay, so if that's it's possible, bro, that's, that's, 5, that's small. Yeah, let's yeah, start 5, 5,000 5, viewers. Why we, not? We do 5,000 viewers and then plus 8, 8 NFT giveaways plus 20 alpha access keys. So guys, we still have nine minutes to go. So please do share our live stream uh, here in YouTube and also in our Facebook page. I don't know yet if it's already live. Okay, so if, if in case it is live, please do share it okay, in your friends, dogs, cats, grandmother, grandfather. Okay, bro, bro, will you be able... Bro, will you be able to pin the registration link? 
Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Wait. And maybe while waiting for the uh, other viewers as well, like w while we are tweaking all of this uh, setup, which has been the uh, I think it's part of the pain points. I I think let's try to uh, like we can play the team introduction, right, bro? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So let's yeah, play. Let's do, it. let's do it now. So here is the team introduction to you guys. League of Nations is about changing people's life. We want to give everyone an equal opportunity to earn while enjoying the best mobile gaming experience. We strive to provide the best League of Nations gaming experience to our community. This is a great opportunity for gamers all around the world to have fun playing mobile while generating income at the same time. نحن نهدف إلى تمكين مجتمعاتنا من استخدام تكنولوجيا البلوك تشين. هذا الألعاب سيكون لكي يكون 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 لكي Di mana kita nak gabungkan kedua-duanya? Bilang pagkakaroon ng trabaho sa tim ngayon, makikita mo sa lahat yung pagpuporsige at caga nila yung pagod at puyat for 18 hours para lang makasiguro at makabuo ng pinakamahusay na at karanasan sa sa larangan ng paglalaro para sa The Legend of Ancient Community. I'm already seeing 91 people watching our live now. Okay, okay. So guys, guys, share the link and yes. we will have more and more opportunities, you know, get NFTs and get other opportunities and even, you know, have more knowledge about this game. Bro, what can you say about the video? Uh, actually, bro, uh, actually, usually, uh, when you're passionate, okay, uh, you love what you're doing, so we can really expect a successful outcome. So this will be big, bro, I tell you, to give you and our viewers some perspectives. So let's check the official Twitter page of League of Ancients. That is amazing. Uh, actually, it has 120,000, I think, followers in our uh, Twitter. So actually, that's amazing. Imagine, really? we're, we're only, I think, uh, one and a half old, okay? but we have that kind of viewers. That's amazing. All right. Bro, I think for our audience right now, if you want to watch more official videos from League of Ancients, don't forget to click the subscribe button because yes. they will be releasing more and more information. Today, we prepared a lot of good questions and we will be 
knowing more about the game and I hope you will enjoy and you will be entertained today. So I'm seeing now 111. 111. So guys, guys, please, please keep, keep it coming. So we still have 3 minutes and 16 seconds. So please do share yeah. our live stream. So I think, uh, I, I don't know if it's already live in our Facebook page. So I don't have access right now. But again, I think we can still hit the 5,000 viewers. If yeah. the, the, the Facebook page exactly. Okay? exactly yeah yeah guys we have 100,000 telegram members so we are counting on you of course we, if we will not reach the thresholds then we will not be able to get more NFTs and alpha access today but still reminder guys if you haven't registered in our uh, in our attendance link so please please uh, put in your name because we will be getting the winners from, from this link and we will also use it to identify the early birds for this session. Sessions, yeah, yeah. So please do do sign up now, okay? Because we have a lot of giveaways from our very own LOA team. We have also our own giveaway. So please sign up in our Google form. So that you will be included, okay, to be a part of the Alpha Access if we hit the threshold and also the NFT giveaways, guys. So again, we still have one minute and 47, uh, 47 seconds to go before our AMA proper. Okay, so please do share it, okay? Bro, bro, can you tell us about this contest that we've uh, started last week? So this like cosplay like yeah can yeah. you remind me again about the price and the mechanics yeah uh, uh okay so when it comes to the the mechanics okay uh i would like to invite our community and friends to join our tiktok facebook cosplay so guys uh let me share it to you So let me check it here. Yeah, I think it's I, fine, think, bro. So yeah, yeah. They, so, they so, can just go to our FB page. Yes, exactly, exactly. So guys, guys, follow Lori. Uh, like, copy the like do a cosplay while yes, we're copying yes. Lori and Leon Fest and and show your creativity because we we know that maybe in the next future right we will have our own aloja in the yes. league of ancients and it's not impossible so yeah so join there guys so we will have like more characters coming soon yes. and we will have more cosplay contests in the future yeah yeah so so don't maybe forget. Just, yeah, yeah uh, bro, i think uh, don't forget okay, to to hashtag league of ancient cosplay so that we can track your videos your entry guys okay so when it comes to the reward bro okay uh the reward will be red me the xiaomi red me 90 so two winners will get this and we might consider giving more if we receive more entries so please submit your entries we will wait until november 26 so this is your chance to show your creativity all over around the world guys so don't be shy this is your chance okay like what bro nick said maybe you're the next aloja okay here in the philippines so guys please send in all your entries yeah bro bro these are like exciting prizes imagine you will just show your creativity and you will get your mobile phone yes. yeah it's really exciting yeah yeah all right so all right how so, much time do we so how much time i think it's time bro to to introduce our beloved okay so please do the honor right now so right, or so, or I, i'm the yeah. one to to introduce bro, bro yeah so, so we can start now guys so this is our most awaited first ama session in the philippines it is really an honor to be part of this i am nick i'm one of the league of ancients ambassadors like, I have founded uh, my Nick Creation team that provides graphic designs and content creation for NFTs, 
And it's really amazing that I, I've been uh, I, I've been requested to be part of this as well. How about you, Godar? So, by the way, so I'm Daryl, the founder of LDX Esports, who is also one of the League of Ancients ambassadors. So, Bro Nick and I are both excited to host and bring you an exciting Ask Me Anything session with our project leader, Brother Dwayne Ong. But before we go there, we would like to thank you guys for showing your love and support and a very strong engagement. So, All right. can you tell more, Ronik, before we introduce Bro Dwayne? Yeah, I, actually, we wanted to make this very entertaining and interactive. And we have prepared a lot of like uh, other activities within this session aside from question and answer. But I think since we've already played the gameplay, yes, yes, we yes. can already go to the introduction of okay. our special guest. And yeah, you can do that, bro. Okay, so I, I couldn't agree more, bro. So, all right. So, I'm sure everyone are excited to play the game and wants to hear more about LOA without further ado. So, let's invite now our governor, the Project Lead of League of Ancients, a crypto enthusiast and entrepreneur with experience in multiple startups of various industries, a failed professional Dota player, grinder, who ended up <laughs> The mediocre MMR ranking. Our brother from an NFT game, brother Dwayne Ong. So yeah. So hello. Hello. Hi hello. guys. Hi. Hi guys. Hey man, you guys Hi, are bro. crazy. Yeah. Daryl, I think I'm crazy. You guys make me feel like I'm going on a concert, you know. <laughs> <laughs> And you know, all the hype, well, I, I guess you guys really put a lot of effort then in this, right? I, I just want to say thank you guys for really putting all this effort, right? And you know, yeah, let's have a great session today. And to those that are watching today, hello. Uh, uh, it's nice to see you guys here. I saw there are many people writing in the comment. Uh, thank you for coming in, right? I hope today you'll be have a very interesting session. Uh, and I'd like to you know talk more about our project and uh, hopefully, you know, we're able to uh, uh, inspire more people, right, uh, to understand about play to eat, uh, play to earn, and also about bringing mobile game onto uh, blockchain as well. So let's get going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, bro, Dwayne, we know that you are really busy, and we are happy that we have you here. It's really a pleasure, and we thank you because you allow us to hijack your YouTube yeah. channel <laughs> for a while. <laughs> Just kidding, <laughs> and I, we we know that. Uh, community will appreciate what you know what, what we prepared for this so without further delay let's get started so i have a question bro Dwayne. so yeah bro can you tell us like, like tell us again about the game and like where the concept started what what has inspired you to make the league of ancients and what is your mission and vision for this project yeah, I just actually just now Daryl kind of make the introduction it is like I I'm a, like a mediocre Dota player, a failed professional Dota player, and uh, yeah, you know just to uh, add on the more context to that, right? Uh, the idea of League of Ancient uh, was a birth of my own true story. Uh, I I have been playing uh, Dota for more than I think twenty years. Uh, I love the game so much. I still remember uh, I followed my brother, uh, my elder brother, play. Uh, learning from him uh, when I was young, that time was uh, Warcraft, right? And then went to Dota One. And uh, you know, until today, uh, I still I still love playing the game mobile game. It's so addictive. Um, it really challenges your skills. Uh, the, 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 the game dynamic is so nice, so fun, right? And uh, full of adrenaline, right? I love the game so much. Um, however, you know, uh, you know, it's it's, it's not you, you can't really make a living out of it, right? So you know, I uh, it's just like kind of like my hobby, right? And you know, as yeah. we all know. Uh, mobile gamer, you know, only a small percentage of gamers uh, made it professional. Like I would say 1% uh, really actually made a good living playing it, right? And um, unfortunately, like me, like the majority, right? Like many of us here, uh, we didn't make it, right? We cannot really yeah. make it, uh, yeah. not playing the game. So, uh, you know, with yeah. this blockchain ecosystem, right? With this whole entire, um, uh, whole new world, right? Uh, you know, we have, we have an opportunity here, right? Uh, we have an opportunity to make a change. Um, a movement, right? And League of Ancient, our aim, our aim is really to create an excellent and stable, and like the most amazing blockchain game that no one has ever seen before. You know, we really want to empower everyone to have an equal opportunity, right? And like other esports players, right? To really make a living uh, while playing the game they love, um, 
you know they can actually uh, benefit from the passion that they love they love playing the game and they can actually really benefit uh, financially and we really want to empower the community to really um, uh, uh, build a community driven game uh, and the whole entire ecosystem in League of Nations so yeah yeah bro I, I feel you because I've also a frustrated mobile player but I really enjoy playing it with my brothers to be honest and I think the story is inspiring because you want to make a change and you're really trying to make a change, right? So that's the beauty of the centralized setup we're in. We, we are giving the power to the community as well to grow and really make like, like make an innovation around this mobile game in the blockchain, right? So yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, yeah. So I, I couldn't agree more uh, about that. So. I think uh, let's go to another question. So here's another question. Okay. So Daryl, uh, Daryl, uh, yeah. the, the music seems to be a bit loud, you know. I think uh, like many of them. So I, I think we can lower the music, right? Then oh, uh, they okay. can kind of hear. Yeah, you can lower yeah. the music. I think uh, otherwise, you know, I would be dancing and partying already. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's only louder from our side yeah on our side bro but actually in 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 the live actually it's more more Ah, yeah 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 yeah. Yeah, but but we can also make it like uh not louder so that yeah 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 so yeah yeah. so i already adjusted it okay so let's move i think let's move on on our second question so what makes loa superior to other blockchain games uh what is your unique selling proposition against other projects um, um, yeah, I know. Like uh, we, I play Dota since I'm young, so uh, we took a lot of inspiration from the game that we love to play, right? Um, and my team, they also play League of Legends and Mobile Legend as well. We share the same passion, you know, in terms of mobile, uh, you know, team battles. Um, really, that that building that team chemistry and really in, in a competitive gaming, right? Uh, it's really really fun. And um, what makes us superior is that you know uh, we did not reinvent the wheel, right? Uh, we did not want to create. A whole new game in NFT, uh, in NFT gaming, right? Uh, we we actually reinvent the. Uh, we do not want to reinvent the whole wheel, uh, but you know, really taking the game that we are passionate about, and it's a very successful game. You know, mobile, uh, Dota and League of Legend. Currently, there's more than 250 million people are playing it actively. It's like probably one of the most played uh, genre game, and you know, uh, and you know, it has been existed for more than 20 years, and it's still very popular. And uh, what makes us superior is that you know we remodel it, right? We took whatever we love to play, and we and we don't want to reinvent the whole entire game, but we take the game that we love, and we you know we want to implement it on the blockchain, and uh, you know um, and you know we also see League of Asian addressing the NFT gaming side as well. Uh, as you see that uh, most of um, NFT games uh, they are actually uh, have very high entry costs. And League of Asian, uh, we want it to be free to play, and uh, and also yet fun, right? Um, a lot of NFT games are uh, really hard initially, uh, and up it became very repetitive and very boring. And a lot of people play because for the sake of earning, right? Um, and uh, and and that's not what we want to build in League of Asian, right? Uh, we want to emphasize on the game itself. The game has to be fun, right? People enjoy playing it, and in return, they get rewarded as well um, on on terms of financially as well. And you know, uh, we 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 do we you know uh, visualize that you know uh, League of Ancient players they can really develop their skill play that they can be really really good at it, and then they also are rewarded in terms of financially, right? So the ecosystem of League of Ancient, you know, we want to design it to be sustainable and really beneficial to the community uh, as the game uh, develops and matures as well. Yeah. So actually, bro, uh, I like that idea okay, of addressing the issue of existing mobile games right now uh, where players is just spending so much money and less than half of 1% of that 250 million make money playing MOBA. So I think this will be a game changer for every one of us, for our community all over the world, to our, like us, which is a MOBA player. So I think this is the best chance for us to get on board. Okay. In League of Ancients. So, Bro Nick? All right. Yeah, actually, I'm reading the comments because they yeah. want to have some interaction, to be honest. Yes. 
Okay. So they mentioned that the Google form for registration is already hacked. Guys, oh. we've read this and we will try to oh. uh, update it and, and change it as well. So really sorry, guys, for the inconvenience on that part. And yeah, the, the background music, we're also changing it. So maybe we can like shout out some of the people here, right? Yeah, so, yeah. You, you can yeah, do... so as mentioned by... Uh, let, let, Okay, so Guru Espiritu. So he, he, she mentioned shout out to Clarice. So yeah, it's really nice. And Royete Ibana. So he mentioned Let's Go Loaders. All right. Okay. Yeah, so guys, we are reading all of your comments and we are not ignoring you. We also have a, a segment later where we will be hearing from you as well. All right. Okay, guys. So we can proceed to our next question. Like, we've been seeing a lot about a very trending topic that Monza Infinite will partner with you in incubating the LOA project. And we want to know more, like, uh, how it started and what are the advantages of this partnership? Well, um, the partnership with Monza Infinite is, like, something that um bigger than um, what we are having right now. Like, uh, if you think that League of Angels is, like, really big already, right? Uh, but our vision is much bigger than that. Um, Monza is considered, like, a fairly a new project. Uh, they also just started, uh, I think, uh, uh, maybe a few months uh, before us, right? Uh, but they, yet they really became, like, one of the top projects. And uh, Jin, 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 right? Jin, the CEO of Monster, uh, he's a brilliant guy. And it is uh, our honor you know, to have him as our advisor. Um, um, if you know him personally, he's really, really helpful and really, really genius as well, very smart. And, um, you know, he, he do share with us a lot of uh, things that he have done. And it really helped us to avoid some of the mistakes uh, that, uh, you know, he had made previously. And also, you know, um, through this, you know, uh, through this whole entire journey, the trust and the friendship has been developed. And, you know, uh, we also share the same vision that, you know, hey, you know, we are going to build something bigger than our own project, right? We want to build a metaverse that really able to get more projects to participate, right? To have more projects on board with us. Um, but, you know, um, uh, we are still in the midst of, you know, uh, going through the details. Um, so I, I can't disclose much of it, right? Um, but, you know, um, there's going to be a lot of exciting things um, happening um, for the next quarter and so yeah, I think personally, uh, it, I really appreciate the mission and vision of uh, both projects because you are really touching like the lives of the, the people, especially in, in current pandemic. And I, I, we've been also following Gene, the, the CEO of Monster Infinite. And we know, like you mentioned that he is like genius. And we can see, like what I can see as the positive side of it is that like, being an advisor as well of the uh, League of Ancients is that everything that he has learned in 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 Monster Infinite will be addressed or shared to the to the team. Like I, I can recall that when we we encountered some issues about the anti bots or s sniper bots, so he, he mentioned that you know people needs a lot of like educating the other people, and this is what is being done by the project and even League of Ancients as well. So it's really a great partnership. Okay, so let's move to another question. So, tell us a little about the core team behind League of Ancients, so their qualifications and experience in the blockchain gaming world. Um, yeah. Um, so, uh, so we we actually uh you know we know we know each other for quite some time right uh, but we are all uh, mobile lovers, uh but we all went to our own uh, different career path um from uh, uh programming software development, uh, me myself I run a various startups from prop Texas, uh and also in the in the in oil and gas as well, and you know um there we do have uh, game uh, you know some of us is work into the game developer right gaming developing. Uh, and uh, some of them actually run their own gaming studios as well. And some was in doing uh, business development. And so, um, but, you know, we really gathered the team uh, in about a year ago, uh, working on this idea. And uh, one thing for sure is that we all share the same passion is that we want to bring uh, Dota and League of Legends onto blockchain where there's a play to earn mechanism. And, you know, we, we play the game we like and, and we can still earn, right? And that's that what really got us together. 
And, uh, you know, uh, it's really amazing that uh, the strong team that we have built here and, uh, you know, the ability to trust this other to be able to deliver um, and different skill sets, skill sets uh, in terms of the gaming side, uh, uh, and the blockchain side, uh, building the community, I can is, can is amazing. Uh, Joseph is working on the uh, on the partnership side, and I think you know we really built a really really great team here, and you know um and you know and it's really really amazing that um, we are getting more people on the team. Uh, right now there's thirty of us working, and we are still expanding, and you know I we are so uh I would say so glad that there are so many moderators and supporters that are helping us to uh make uh this uh, LA to became uh, like one of the biggest uh, projects in, in, in the ecosystem. And I think that we are continuing growing and we're not going to stop, right? Yeah, and, and for those of you who are interested, you know, to really join, be part of our team, we are still looking to expand and get more people in our, more talent to join our team. We can go to our Discord. Uh, I think like there's like a recruitment um, channel, right? You can just post it there. And I think uh, uh, we will, you know, contact you, right? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, Broadbean actually that's an excellent lineup and profiles, and no wonder why the community is growing so fast. So you've really built a strong credibility. So again, guys, if you want to be a part like what Broadbean, okay, uh, please join okay, the recruitment in our Discord. Okay, so don't miss the chance of this big project. Okay, I think this will be hundred times x more than the number one game right now which is axi okay i think there will be more upside okay so please please guys don't miss this chance so you can be a part of this growing team okay so next question Bruni. uh Bruni, uh we can't hear you yeah, before yeah. I move to my next question, yeah, yeah it's really, yeah, guys, you heard it right. So they are still recruiting. Uh, if you go to their website, you can see there the send resume buttons. Mm. So if you want to be part of this founding team and an exciting project, so you can apply to them. So maybe I'll think about if I will apply yeah. as well. <laughs> me too. <laughs> <laughs> will you accept me, Dwayne? Yeah. All right. So okay. let's <laughs> move forward to my next question. So yeah, bro, um, what are the special features of the game? And earlier we have shown the gameplay. Actually, there are some comments asking uh, if we're going to show some gameplay. But we've shown the, what is existing right now. Like, can you share what is like original or something exciting about like the modes or the features that you will be introducing, um, like, um, in in comparison with the other existing MOBA games right now? Um, yeah, you know, um, uh, the mod the, the gameplay itself, right, uh, is gonna be modeling very similar to the normal conventional MOBA game we play. Uh, uh, and you know that really resonates with us, and that is what we want to focus on building, right? Um, so it's going to be a five v five battle, and uh, you know, stay tuned, right? We're going to have uh, I will let you know when, but we probably going to have a game trailer soon, anytime, maybe, right? So, uh, one thing for sure, right, uh, is that um, uh, what we want to build is really uh, modeling how Dota League of Legend like, uh, but you know, there is uh, NFT utility where uh, uh the the, the NFT uh, is actually going to have an NFT mode where they can actually play uh, NFT mode where uh, they can actually have the ability to earn even more. And also in terms of tournament modes as well. So uh, uh, what League of Asians want to focus is really going into the eSports scene, right? Um, where uh, what we are looking at is like uh, with a certain account level, uh, then they are eligible to participate in the tournament mode and uh, uh, there will be a prize pool battle. And uh, this will be accessible to players, viewers, and also uh, to uh, the sponsors as well. All right. Yeah, I think that's really interesting. And I've been looking at some of your slides as well. I saw that uh, you will really do this launching of live stream in tournaments, which is always being asked by the community. The esports as well. Like... Uh, I, I've heard something like there will be a partnership with MOBA game publisher. I'm not sure if that's true. So we will be probably he hearing more information about it next year. 
And of course, the usual, the, the NFT marketplace, right? So, yep. So it's really interesting. No more information later on. Yeah. So actually, bro, yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm excited to be a part also to, to, to be one of the members of the, the esports team. So hopefully, hey, uh, guys, again, you're in our PH community. So let's share. Okay. So let's share uh, our vision okay, and mission by the developer to, to give a chance to all of us and be a part of the esports team here in the Philippines. So please do support 100% our game. Okay. So yeah, uh, Bro Brodane, uh, do you have any, any comments or do we proceed now to the next question? Uh, yeah, you know, um, I guess, you know, uh, League of Ancient, uh, we really look at uh, long-term sustainability uh, and at the same time, uh, scalability is really important. Um, how do we able to cater? We do see ourselves much bigger than XC. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I would say much bigger than XC because, um, you know, um, our gameplay, right, is proven, is Dota, you know, is League yeah. of Legend, but it's on blockchain, right? Um, it, a game that never goes old and is always fun. And, you know, um, the, what we want to build here is a game that is free to play, like Dota is free to play, right? And that's what we're going to do, right? It's going to be a free to play mode. And then there's also right now, there's an NFT mode, right? Where uh, the, the cosmetic that uh, you used to actually uh, own in Steam, you can't, you know, really sell, right? But right now, right, uh, we do have opportunity here is that you own these assets and, you know, you are actually able to sell it at the marketplace. And our NFT, there is actually a, a, a earning mechanism as well. So in terms of the short term uh, utility before the game develops, these NFTs you're able to stake and you're able to earn uh, some of the LA tokens as well. And you know uh, we do have a lot of cool, cool, uh, very cool element in terms of uh, our NFT where they're able to fuse and get a very well NFT. And you know um, I think it's really really exciting. And uh, we are thinking about the whole entire ecosystem of LA. Uh, to be in, in terms of long term and, and uh, short term as well, and I think uh, when the game is out, uh, I think it would be really really cool, you know, to have uh, this NFT to be playable in the NFT mode. Yeah. So actually, bro. So I really like the free to play concept, and also uh, spending some penny for NFT is actually a very good investment if you really want to earn more in the game because of the higher possible earnings and the idea of community driven game or in the, uh, the, success, the success also of the game is actually in the community itself. So I think, uh, bro, uh, bro Nick, uh, next question. Yeah, yeah. I also like the free-to-play because there's low, low risk on that part, right? So, yep. So I can move to the next question. So you've, you've, uh, you've been sharing information about one of your tokens, which is LOA. So what are the other tokens that you may have and what are their uses? And of course, the, the questions of everyone, like when and where we can get them aside from this pre-sale and the private sale that are still ongoing and why would holding them will be a good investment? Yeah, uh, there will be, uh, of course, you know, uh, there will be LA token and there will be also an in-game token, which we will be announcing later on. Um, and uh, so for LA token, uh, you can definitely purchase them by our pre-sales uh, and also upon listing. And, um, and you know, uh, why why would holding them be a good investment? Um, so uh, LA, you know, we don't see ourselves just building an ordinary mobile game on blockchain, but uh, we are actually seeing ourselves as a movement of bringing esports onto blockchain and uh what we are building here is really we want to help the 99 percent of the mobile players to know about play to earn and also nft ownership where you can now have a possibility to own the the cosmetic that you know you used to uh spend a lot of money but you can't own it right but now you know you can actually not just spending but you're investing into an asset right uh, and also that asset can help you to generate income and, you know, uh, again, why LA is will be a good investment because uh, our vision here is really to build a whole entire metaverse where our NFTs are playable in multiple games, right? Uh, so we, we don't see just as uh, 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 League of Ancient as one game, but, you know, creating more value of holding the NFTs and also LA token 
and uh, LA would be like the main governance and also the main key element in producing this NFTs, right? And um, yeah, you know, I hope I did answer your question. Yeah, I think that's really, really a, a good one. Yep, actually, I also appreciate when I look at the tokenomics that you are really generous in terms of pricing your tokens at 0 0.05 USD. So 250 pesos, right? Two, two pesos and 50 centavos, right? For for all of your private sale investors and pre-sales as well. So that's really um, promising one and helpful for the community. And I've also seen that uh, you really have plans in terms of the economy, like the how you can buy back and burn the tokens by various ways, like in, in the uh, marketplace, marketplace fees, uh, tournament fees, and like even the yield farming, meaning the staking part of the game. So yeah, it's really promising and well thought uh, economy. So thank you for that, uh, Broadway. And I think I need to find a way to buy my tokens and hassle in this coming pre-sale whitelisting. Yeah. Bro, uh, have you have you secured your tokens, bro, uh, bro Dars? Yeah, actually, uh, I've invited a lot. And yeah, I, I, I'll be the one buying first if, if, if in case I can get, I, I can get, again, uh, I, I'm very huge fan of this free to play and play to earn. So that's why I will hassle more, uh, like what we've yeah. said, okay? Play more, earn more, okay? So I, yeah. think, uh, I think the next question is also been answered by Broadway. So actually, uh, Broadway, you excite us again. So LOA never stops uh, to surprise us. And it's really uh, admirable how you keep up with all the milestone, if not on time. Uh, really ahead of the deadline so i like the word metaverse so even facebook actually changed their name to meta so i think metaverse will be the next big thing in our world okay so uh yeah so uh bro Dave, yeah I, I guess you know um, uh, as the project um, um owner itself it is really important to uh, constantly think of how, how do you create more utilities <laughs> uh for for the token right so that it can be sustainable right and also how do you constantly uh get more users to play the game right as more people play the game then there is more value in uh whatever we are building like uh, in our nfts and all so um and, and this is always at the top of our head and you know uh, it's also our top of priority on how do we uh, constantly think of uh, you know um, really good utilities uh in, in in our game and you know but if you look at uh Dota and League of Legends right uh, people spend thousands of dollars in the game right so you know we are gonna be modeling some of this uh into our game there as well yeah so bro Dick, you have another question yeah yeah I also have another question like can you tell us about your strategic partnership I, I was browsing the website and I don't see anything yet there so maybe you can give us like top five let's say investors and partners and you can talk about the advisors as well yeah um um i think uh you know learning from monster as well uh, to build a successful project um, it is very important to choose the right people to be in the same team with you and um, we are taking our time um very delicately uh to be very selective in terms of uh choosing uh, our strategic partners uh it is very difficult because there are a lot of people really coming to us um and uh and um it's very uh it's very difficult for us to actually uh, identify so uh, we are in the midst of uh, reviewing uh, all these uh potential partners and uh yeah ho uh, hoping that we are able to choose as carefully as possible who could be our investors and uh, making sure that uh prior to our listing and after listing uh, uh, that uh that way would be a success and uh in terms of advisors right um uh, we are also you know very grateful to have uh, Jeff, uh, he is actually the listed company of uh, FlexiRoom and in in off the exchange. Uh, he has really helped us in terms of structuring our tokenomics and the commercial aspects of uh, how do we uh, commercialize uh, a League of Asia. Uh, how how to really uh, uh, build a strong team that are scalable as well uh, to have the right people in the team and uh, giving really really good advice. And also we have Fabian uh, Fabian Tan. He's actually a principal. Uh, 
cloud architect uh, uh, in Amazon. And uh, he's really helping us to think about, you know, how do we scale, um, you know, uh, as we uh, as we uh, as as we grow, uh, because right now League of Ancient is been known worldwide globally. I think like it's crazy, you know, when I look at the Google Analytics, right? Uh, so many people from different country coming to know about us, and uh, then yeah. we realize that you know, uh, in order for us to build a great game, uh, we need to have great people in the team uh, that you know has been you know in this kind of situation and able to bring us to that next level. And thus, you know, Fabian has been really tremendously helpful, really uh, helping us you know to build the infrastructure, the the fundamental right, so that as we launch our NFT marketplace and we launch our game um, that uh, we, we want to be certain that we, we be confident that it, it can be done and successfully. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think we can also like quickly like relate some of the questions here. So there are also questions here like how, how you will handle, for example, the, the whales which are uh, usually expected in, in the blockchain games when, when releasing the tokens. Um, what do you mean? Like, uh, how do we handle the whales? Yeah, th there's just like a question like that here in the comment section, and I, I thought that this is something that you know we can also try to answer. Like, how yeah, are you know, going um, to distribute yeah. the whitelist sale because it's only two million tokens? One whale can buy all that in an instant. So maybe we can talk about the oversubscription method. Maybe. Yeah. Um. Actually, uh, uh, you know, um, the for the uh, white listing subscriptions, uh, you know, uh, what we are doing here is, uh, you know, uh, we really want to cater to uh, the people that are really interested, uh, like our hardcore fan, to uh, part able to participate. And uh, um, in terms of our uh, uh, our pre sales, uh, we do also have our NFT sales, and uh, that in that sense, that would be also uh, our pre sales allocation given as well. Um, and I think, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. I think uh, this is, yeah, I, I think we've covered most of our questions and I think that it's really engaging and enjoyable. Like yeah. we don't want to stop asking our question, mm -hmm. Dars. We're, we're really talkative. So maybe yeah. we can switch up a bit and entertain some of the questions from the community as community, well. So exactly, if we've already yeah. started to uh, discuss some questions. Yeah, yeah. So, so this one came from Pro. So, is there any implication of copyright issue for LOA since there are already existing MOBA games like Mobile Legends, League of Legends, and Dota? Uh, this one came from Tol Jeff Pian. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think. Uh, thanks for asking about this. This is a very popular question. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I would say that you know, um, it is an honor that we are able to, uh, you know, able to like, you know, uh, have people concerned with the copyright issue means that we are able to resonate, right? Um, but well, uh, actually, when we design uh, uh, League of Ancient, uh, we really want to resonate the game that we play. Uh, we got inspired for it, but everything is all in-house drawn. Uh, our inspiration uh, is actually put up in a white paper uh, where we actually uh, how we design the 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 logo itself. And you know the frame, you know the color, the font, everything was all in-house drawn. Even the characters as well. Um, but uh, I do sure that uh, you know we got inspiration from different different of the games that we love to play. And I will say that you know, yeah, I know I'm quite honored that you know we've been referenced to other top mobile gaming brands in the world right now. Yeah, so that's mm -hmm. great, bro. So to our fellow PH community members and also our co-loaders, so LOA will will not be liable. Uh, to any IP or intellectual property lawsuit. You, nice. you heard it straight from our uh, own project lead. Okay? So you have another question, bro, Nick? Yeah, I, I actually want to select something from the comment section because Dwayne is really like, he knows the project well. Yeah. So there is like a question. I think this is beneficial for the community. Like, is there any anti-bot mechanism mm -hmm. or like mm -hmm. how, how are we going to deal the, the bots or the sniper bots during the IDO? I think yeah. this is expected, right? But I, I want to hear your, your insights on this one. Yeah, I think, um, you know, we are, we, we are aware of this issue and, you know, um, the, the team is, is actually planning on how, because, uh, you know, 
to actually uh, really avoid sniping is, is I think is unavoidable. But how can we really, uh, you know, assure prevention and, you know, uh, re uh, reduce the, the implication of it uh, is what we are looking at. Um, and, um, and I think uh, you know we are we are thinking of how we can really address this issue. But this is a common issue that happens for a lot of uh, projects, right? And uh, and I know how do we implement certain system, a certain implementation of doing our IDO to ensure this thing won't happen. Okay, yeah, bro, Charles Eraso, thank you for that question. Um, yeah, we will hear more about it later on, and we can always rely with you know what the advisor will will give them because it's like part of it like i've experienced applying for example for launch pods and it's really part of it like you will need to come up with your anti-bot mechanism as well because that's that's part of the blockchain all right so yeah so my i'm going back to my question brodar sorry for the interruption yeah, so yeah it's, my it's question is good. are there steps that uh you've been thinking already about uh cases where the tokens price can still you know, like dropping token price. And this is a question from Kev Zone. You mean like what? Uh, how do we ensure the, the, do we maintain the value of uh, LOA token? Yes. Is that your question? Yes, the valuation of the LOA token. Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, uh, ensuring the, the, the token is really creating a really, really good uh, revenue stream for the ecosystem of uh, League of Asian, right? So uh, as there's, there's a revenue stream uh, to sustain the ecosystem, then, you know, that will actually uh, able to benefit the token holders because uh, that creates, uh, 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 in terms of, uh, uh, there's, a, there's a fee to maintain and support the whole entire ecosystem. So uh, mm -hmm. first of all, we are able to generate some income from the NFT marketplace. So there's going to be like a listing fee, transaction fee, and also fusion mm -hmm. fees. Right, so um, you know, we do see a huge, uh, uh, let's say, uh, people will list their NFTs on the marketplace. There will be a listing fee, and uh, so if they say they want to sell their their NFT, there will be a transaction fee, and also there's a fusion fee, right? Um, secondly, it's also uh, one of the way we generate revenues is also through raffle events. Uh, so, uh, you know, in order for you to acquire an NFT skin, uh, you have to participate in a raffle event. And, uh, and, you know, through the sales of raffle event, uh, then, you know, they will release NFT. On the, on the last part, which is the in-game, there's a tournament passes as well. So, um, you know, we hope that, you know, uh, through all this revenue, right, um, if you've seen our white paper, 80% of this uh, revenue that we generate uh, will be sent to burnt. And that will actually help to reduce the supply of LA token. And uh, for uh, that will benefit uh, uh, LA token holder and also protecting the long-term value of, of, of our token as well. And also, mm -hmm. uh, uh, in terms of long term, uh, long uh, uh, in terms of region wise, is constantly creating more utilities uh, uh, in the game, uh, such as uh, building uh, uh, more games onto our platform. Uh, in that sense, also that will help uh, creating uh, more uh, uh, value for our token as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it covered all of the <laughs> like areas in in the valuation. So we we can only look forward. To that and I think for the community you can always go to the tokenomics and the white paper where more information will be shared. I've seen in one slide about the revenue streams for the for the LOA. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that, Rodars. Okay. So let's move to another question. Came from Fox Ray. So can LOA players that uses computer be able to play with LOA player who uses mobile phones yeah so um uh, we we've been we the way we design and plan the game is that, that the game uh you know uh it has to be ready by uh next year and uh to build a mobile game is not an easy task it takes about three years so uh so you know we really want it to be uh, available by next year uh so the game will be on both uh, ios and android uh, mobile devices and also one of the reasons why we do it on, on mobile phone devices is because um, we really want to make it accessible for everyone. Uh, and imagine that, you know, you can pay, play LOA uh, at anywhere, anytime. Like let's say you are waiting for a queue or let's say you go uh, having a dinner uh, while you are, you know, you can actually play the game and you can earn, right? So um, that's the, the concept that we want to have where, you know, you, you can, you know, uh, use a short period of time just to, you know, uh, play the game and you can also earn as well. 
Yeah, so so that's great, bro. So right now, uh, to those who are asking, so it will only be available to iOS and Android devices. And like what bro uh, Dwayne said uh, on my side, actually the development of, of games in this caliber usually takes three to five years. So that's why uh, uh, it will be available only in iOS and Android. And, and imagine bro, uh, bro Nick, okay? So uh, every time we go outside, we saw a group yeah. of young people huh? okay, playing playing Mobile Legends, right? So imagine. So it will be uh, mainstream. Yeah, yeah. Imagine for example, you're you're uh, on your uh, teammates, and uh, luckily you you get a Genesis capsule, okay? And then you <laughs> open it up, and imagine, guys, uh, it has a Genesis NFT skins, and it worth let's say fifty thousand pesos. So imagine that. So I don't know how how you you how do you feel when you got that kind of NFT skins, okay? Yeah. So, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, no. Yeah, you know, uh, well, what we want to build is really a free-to-play game. Like, oh, is that, a lot of people ask, like, is that going to be Scholar or so? Like, I mean, like, mm -hmm. we, we want it to be free-to-play. Like, people yeah. can continually progress. So it starts from developing love with the game first. Really enjoy playing the game, uh, but they get rewarded, right? And as they play, they progress, they get better. They earn some tokens, and these tokens, they can participate in raffle events, and they can get our mm -hmm. NFT skins, uh, or and then uh, they can also uh, purchase NFT skins in the marketplace to uh, complete their uh, their uh, collections and you know then they are able to play that nft mode right with nft mode uh they actually able to earn more tokens and also climb in terms of their account level and uh, through the account levels uh they can actually uh, unlock uh, certain uh, in-game features mm -hmm. uh and such as you know opening you um you know uh in-game uh yeah. elements and also uh you know able to participate in tournaments as well right mm -hmm. so uh yeah. we are you know trying to model a lot of how uh, the current mobile game is like but you know, uh, really putting it into 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 uh, into our game. Yeah, like you're waiting for your food in a like a restaurant, and then you're yeah. you're having this yeah. socializing with your yeah. friends, talking about your assets, <laughs> yeah. crafting your immortal skins. So that's really awesome, yeah. right? Yeah, you know, I guess yeah. Before the game developed, <laughs> right? No, that, that, right, we we kind of like uh took the inspiration from you know a uh, Pokemon card collection. Yeah. So uh, mm -hmm. last time, you know, when we are young, uh, we we kind of like to buy the yeah. booster pack, and yeah. you're hoping that you know you get the, <laughs> the 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 hollow card that you have, and then that's what kind of a uh, feel that we want to have, right? Uh, so you know, yeah. you go through the raffle event, and then you know you can unlock from the capsule, and then you can see like, oh, this is the cool skin I have, yeah. and you know, uh, if you, you didn't get the cool skin, it's okay. You can collect a few the common skins. You can combine them. You can fuse them. You can yeah. get a cooler skin. Yeah. And and that's the that's the the inspiration we came from there. And as the game developed, right, uh, then you know you able to uh, able to uh, play the game with the skin in the cosmetic, the feel look in the game itself as well. Yeah, you're making us more excited about it, bro. Yeah, yeah so, so maybe just another question from the community. So they are asking that uh, we know MOBA games caters a lot of players, especially this one is a play to earn. So how the dev team can make sure that the game will run smoothly and can accommodate the massive player. So this is a question from Jay Avan. But I, I'm also seeing some questions from the comment sections about the ping and like system performance mm -hmm. and all. I, I think I know the answer, but bro, Dwayne, you can also share yours. Yeah. Um, I think that's a very good question, right? Um, um, currently for League of Ancient, I think we are less than two months. So I think one month plus, right? And currently, uh, as we are speaking right now, I think we are hitting over 100,000 followers on our mm -hmm. uh, Telegram. And uh, this talk is growing, and it's really interesting that um the the users are coming from everywhere around the world, uh from Latin America, from Asia, Africa, um Middle East, uh and you know I think uh, League of Ancient uh it's been like we really, really really we got a lot of uh followers around the world, uh the growth rate that we are looking at is something that we we do food, do see that it's a potentially to be one of the biggest NFT game in uh BSC. Uh, and you know, with such a phenomenal phenomenal growth, um, you know, uh, with with this, you know, uh, we really believe so, right? That uh, okay, guys, uh, we know we really need to prepare the game to be robust and reliable, uh, to able to cater to the users worldwide, um, you know, and you know, what we do is really getting in uh, great people, uh, and we are very uh, you know, honored, you know, to announce that like 
uh, we really have uh, uh, Fabian in, right? Uh, he's actually going to be helping us to beef up our network architecture uh, and also the design of the network so that, uh, you know, um, as we launch, uh, it will be able to bring a really, really good uh, and the best experience uh, for all the loaders. Yeah, I think it's really an advantage to have the principal architect from yes. one of the biggest like cloud platform providers, AWS. So we can also count on them. And you can also learn from the Monza Infinite experience yeah, in terms yeah, exactly. of handling the massive players, right? So yeah, it's really nice. And what else? So I think we've covered some questions from the community and like the pulse of the community in terms of their like what puzzles them. So maybe we can already go to the like the fun part, bro Dars. Like yeah, you can yeah. announce some winners of our pre-games. Yeah, so so thanks, bro Nick. So our winners for answering the question. So let's move now to why uh LOA will be the number one MOBA blockchain games in the future. Actually, uh we we have a lot of uh, comments, right, Ronik? Yes, a lot of entries, and we only need to select the top three. Yeah. But yeah, these are really interesting answers from the community. Yeah. So you, you want to do the honor for this? or? Uh, okay, right. so, so I can. I can. Yeah, uh, so the first winner is Gerald. So he mentioned that, first of all, una siyang play to earn sa MOBA 5v5. So, madaming magkaka-interest, lalo na yung mga ML players. Diyan, kaya maganda yung LOA at makakatulong ito, lalo na sa panahon ngayon ng pandemic. Alam naman natin na lahat need ng makukuha na ng income. Mostly yung iba na gusto na sa bahay lang para safe sa COVID. So, guys, this is the yeah. opportunity that is being brought to us by LOA. So, we appreciate the uh, uh, the answer in terms of you know having an option for the pandemic and this is like the one of the goals of LOA as well and the security of the people who will be playing the game. Yeah. So yeah, congratulations, Gerald. Congrats. So congrats, Gerald. So by the way, uh, uh, the three of them will get fifty thousand, uh, fifty USDT. <laughs> I should say not not fifty thousand. Yes. Okay. So that's fifty USDT. So, yep. bro, uh, just reach bro Nick. Okay, we will transfer to you uh, your 50 USDT. Uh, I think uh, bro Nick already have your uh, wallet addresses. So, we will transfer it to you. Okay. Yeah, we will so, contact them through the yeah. Facebook page. Yeah. So, All right. okay. So, uh, next winner. So, our next winner we, is... Maybe this time we can have a background music. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. So, <laughs> let's have some background music. Okay. So, I think it's good now. Yeah, so the second winner, John Carb. So, the game is not yet, uh, 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 but within a week, this game has gathered a lot of attention from the people. So, the free Free to play concept is really good for us investors who can't grow money. With the help of LDX and this page, which is Nick Creation, as well as industrious moderators and admins, they make it possible. So, all I can say is the devs are really working hard with the badass game graphics and characters. Wow. Aside from this, LOA is very generous because they raffle out a free limited skins. I can't wait to see LOA and Monster Infinite as a number one black king game in the nice. future. So congrats, no? Congrats, bro, John Carb. So by the way, uh, again, uh, sa mga kapwa namin, okay? uh, sa mga kakababayan namin na nanonood ngayon, so this is actually our chance. I think uh, itong pagkakataon na to na ibinibigay ng League of Ancients, I think ito yung mga pagkakataon na ayaw nating ma-miss. Why? Again, this is a play to, okay? it's free to play. And 
play to earn. Mga kapatid, alam natin napakahirap ng buhay dahil sa COVID-19, because of the COVID-19. And again, yung hangarin po, okay, hangarin ng developer na makapagbigay ng magandang laro na pwede tayong kumita, mga kapatid. So again, wag po natin papalampasin yung pagkakataon na to para suportahan yung League of Ancients. Pakita po natin na iisa tayo sa Philippine community na nagtutulungan kasama tayo ang developer okay, na maiangat yung antas ng pamumuhay ng bawat Pilipino na naghahangad na magkaroon ng magandang kinabukasan. So, Bronick, do you have any comments on that or do we proceed to the next yeah, year? Yeah, I think yeah, we, we need to speed up a bit. But yeah, yes. yeah. So, so this is really a yeah, good okay. answer from Jan Carbs. Jan Carbs. So congrats bro Jan Carbs. So the next winner? Yep. So this is another one guys. Even if we are hosting it from PH. PH. So we've got an answer uh, straight from Spain. Spain. So Claudio Saez. So yeah. he mentioned that it's easy. The community is not toxic. The work team is very committed together with its associates yeah. and the metaverse. In its view, the visual is very beautiful and for the rest we are all spectacular to test the battlefield that like more precise so LOA is number one so I think we value when the community is not toxic so yun naman talaga yung key yes. para magiging successful yung game natin guys kasi kahit anong mangyari since uh, this is decentralized if uh, the people will not appreciate the game itself or support it or give value or contribute to the to the game i think it will not be successful then later on so we can give our feedback and we can help each other para uh, magamit natin to as opportunity rin as a play to earn and free to play for everyone so congratulations congrats Claudio, yeah congrats so all right so we can move now bro dun sa next natin the early so, bird yes so yeah. i-announce lang natin to yes, guys okay. maraming nagtatanong uh, kung meron daw bang mananalo sa session na to yes yeah. we are sharing yung registration form natin so make sure na kayong mga nandito sa live makapag-register yes. kayo yes. kasi after the video dun lang natin makikita kung ilang views ilang yung may views. hit natin yeah. so kapag nahit natin yung 1000 view we will be choosing winners for two NFT uh NFT skins, di ba? So, and then kapag 3,000, apat yung mananalo. Kapag 5,000, anim. And kapag 10,000, we will be giving away 8 NFT giveaways and 20 alpha access. So guys, unfortunately, na-hack yung registration link natin. Pero as, uh, as our workaround, we will get yung mga nag-answer, yung mga nag-comment, yung mga top commenters as the early bird then who supported this video. So, I hope that's fair and kami naman ni Brodars gusto lang namin na makatulong lagi sa community and yes, exactly, uh, be be just and fair to everyone yeah. so thank you guys for supporting us yes alright uh, so let's move now bro on our uh, Mentimeter so you yep. can do the honor so wait I will just pull the Mentimeter so so guys yung, yung ano natin yung registration form natin let's keep it sa mga nandito lang sa live let's not share it sa other group chat so that yes, yes, we can yes. ensure na dito lang yung winners natin yeah and then guys mayroon kaming request sa inyo yes if you can go to menti.com please guys so le le let's make it like a, a closing part lang so yes. menti.com and kami rin pupunta kami sa menti.com yes and we will enter yung code na 6614 6285 so guys, ano lang, souvenir lang. So this mm. is our first time lang din na mag-ama session. Yeah. It's not perfect, pero alam namin na we will learn from it then and yes. we can make more successful ama session. Later on. So guys, yes. punta kayo sa menti.com and key in 6614-6285. Bro Dwayne, you're joining us, right? Yeah, so actually, uh, we will give you two minutes. Okay, so yeah, please let's, go let's to... Do it www.menti.com and use the code 
PACE6285. Again, that's 6614-6285. Then, you can take, type okay, your one word to describe League of Ancients. Actually, you have three, okay, three times or three options to enter what word that describe League of Ancients. So, mga kapatid, please, mga kapatid, ano po, sa PH yes, community, let's go. Let's go. So, let's go, go to menti.com. Okay, type the code 6614-6285. Then, your one word to describe League of Ancients, mga kapatid. Okay, so I know Let's na go, guys. na sa inyo. So, tayo. Yep. Sige, sige, bro. Go ahead, bro. Sorry, sorry to. No, 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 no. Ahead, It's okay. Ahead. So it's new to all of us actually, but again, we will be doing this every time. We will be having a a live session. So actually, this is great. Okay. So yeah. So we saw live your comments. Okay. So please do type in, guys. We still have one minute and thirty seconds to go. Share so please your, share your one word to describe. Yes, League to describe big of ancients. Loaders. <laughs> Mga kapatid, na comment na tayo to describe. Comment na comment. Okay, comment lang. Libre lang po ang mag-comment. Nice. Okay. Thank you guys for the support. So, lagi kami nag-thank you ni Bro Dars. Really uh, strong support and sobrang active. So, thank you talaga. Thank you, thank you. So, sa lahat ng sumusuporta, again, uh, salamat po ng maraming marami sa inyo. Wala po sa developer. Okay, nagpapasalamat po kami ni Creation, LDX Esports, sa lahat ng LDX Army. Okay, LDX Moderators, the Community moderators okay league of ancients uh league of ancients moderators sa ph and yung global natin mga kapatid so again so it's exciting so we saw a lot of uh, uh comments guys so it's amazing to to see okay bro save mo yan ha yeah Baka yeah exactly wala. ipopost will, natin yan yeah we will post yeah, it yeah we will post it yeah All definitely right. bro So okay. Again, so yeah. I think uh that's, that's time. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I, I think let's go uh, like guys, we cannot avoid this. We already exceeded the time. It's 9:17 p.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, uh, some background music, bro. The, yeah. The, the okay. one that we planned. Okay. Yeah, okay. so we are really at the end of this program it's unfortunate but we are thankful guys uh, yeah. you only sh showed na talagang actively nakikinig kayo you yes. answered our menti.com yeah this sums up our time in hijacking yeah. the youtube channel <laughs> of league of Asians. League of Asians. Yeah, I, i think it's like a success for us because we hijacked it and yeah. we will be returning it back to the league of ancients thank you guys for allowing us to be part of your team for a few hours You're really generous, and uh, Bro Dwayne, uh, you uh, like. Can you give us your final words? Like, like uh, what you would like to live to our community? Community, yes, exactly. I want to say um, thank you so much for trusting us, and uh, the team uh, is working really hard to ensure that uh, we were able to deliver, and also uh, you know really making the LOA to be. The biggest and you know the first esports NFT mobile game on um, BSC, and you know um, you know we want to change the world and you know LOA is about a movement about bringing mobile into blockchain, bringing esports on the blockchain and you know we can only do it uh, with the community, with the team, with the people, with the right people and I would say right now we have all the right people on the board and you know let's charge forward and let's get going right so let's many things go. are coming ahead let's go yeah yeah so okay so thank you bro uh for this time uh with the community uh, awesome brother so it was a pleasure so we will be following along closely and we will always be excited to be with this journey from the start to its success in the future so guys on behalf of league of ancients LDX Esports and Nick Creation. Uh, thank you again for coming out to support us and for sure we will have more amazing sessions coming up in the next week. 
So again, as always, guys, stay safe. Stay Rony. positive. Hey, stay positive. So stay negative with COVID. And stay blessed, guys. So guys, so remember our hashtag. So I will mention it and I will request Bro Dwayne to do it also. So remember our hashtag, the hashtag tunay na malasakit sa kapwa. Okay? So, bro, the, bro Dwayne, your turn. Yeah, your turn. You have to mention that. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I, I've been practicing it for a whole day already, so I'm going to try right now. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yes, no. So, the tunay tunay na malasakit sa kapwa. Yeah! Very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Thank you very much. So, again, uh, hashtag Brony? loaders. Okay, our hashtag loaders. And now, hashtag we will loaders. play the the credit video. So, again, thank you very much, guys. So, let's watch. See you on our next video. See you on yeah. our next video. So, thank you, guys. Thank you.